Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm here with Kelsey. Hi guys. And today we're going to be comparing, smelling and comparing Parfums de Marley Layton and Layton Exclusive. I had these samples very generously sent to me by a subscriber to my P.O. box. You know, you guys are making it more accessible to me to try different scents. And I've smelled Layton, but I've never smelled Layton Exclusive. And I vocalized my thoughts and opinions on Layton, and I've gotten a little bit of heat for it. <laughs> because I said, I don't think it's the best, it's just a little... I mean, it is what it is. It's a very mass appealing fragrance, and I'm sitting here before you with my friend. We're going to revisit it and we're going to give our updated thoughts because we were discussing this before the video how like a reviewer can say oh they don't like something but then you know you revisit it and then you like it that's that's how it is with everyone right it's like you can smell something and be like oh no maybe that's not for me and then smell it again or smell it a couple times and then eventually you're like oh no like maybe there's something here yeah your taste definitely changes over time with trying new fragrances too, mm -hmm. especially if it's been like a year or something. Like I haven't tried Layton in over a year, so I'm curious to see my thoughts on it. So, <laughs> nice spray. <laughs> I don't know mm -hmm. if you can see on the camera or not. Thank you. Okay. Mm. It's a very nice scent. I never said that it wasn't good. Right off the top, it's almost like this mintiness, like there's a little bit of a kind of menthol feel to yeah, it. Yeah, I was getting something kind of fresh, but mm -hmm. like still spicy at the same time. Just a very classic apple fragrance. I've heard a lot of people say that it smells like almost like an apple pie to them. Really? Oh wow. I guess I'm getting like a little bit of gourmand, like mm -hmm. in the end there. Yeah, so. the spice kind of like the that top mintiness is kind of dissipating and it's kind of revealing more of that gourmandness. For yeah, sure. it's like getting a little bit like creamy, almost like a sweet... Yeah, I'm getting like that sweet apple now, like after a couple of minutes. What's in the base of this? I mean, I'm trying to figure it out. There's only one way to find out. <laughs> <laughs> Fragrance I can No, know. wait! <laughs> Bad, Kelsey. <laughs> it's not, it's very nice. Yeah, I could see a lot of people wearing this. Of course, they do. It's yeah, Parfum de Marley's like number one seller for men. I like it, I do like it. It's very mass appealing, it's very nice. I've never said that I didn't like it. I think the scent is really good. It's just a very mass appeal. Like if you're spending 300 something dollars. And it seems pretty like powerful too. I feel like this would last a long time. Mm, yeah, I'm getting like a really creaminess to this. Let's try the exclusive because I've heard some things about this. That this is basically, like I think this will be my answer to everything. <laughs> uh, this just basically a more niche version of Layton. A little more challenging. Let's see how it is. Oh, wow. Okay. It's totally different, that right? That is really different. Like strong, yeah. like, oudness to it. And the t like, as soon Whoa. as you spray it. It almost smelled like a different fragrance altogether. Yeah, I know. That's what they wow. say. Oh, my God. Much, much more woody. Yes. Much deeper. Very woody. I, okay. I'm going to say it now. I kind of prefer this one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think I do, too. It's more complex. Yes. But we also, we're kind of used to, I think that it just depends yeah. on where you are in your fragrance journey. Like if you are just starting to get into niche fragrances, you'll probably like the original better because it is more designer leaning, more mass appealing. Yeah, it's a bit more simple, whereas yeah. this is like really complex. So complex, but I do see the similarities. Like I do still smell the apple in the exclusive. Yeah, now that it's drying down, I'm getting almost that like hint of the menthol with mm -hmm. the apple. But definitely oh, a lot I more. I really woods. like the exclusive. Yeah. I really like this one. It's a bit more sexy. Yes. It's more grown up. It's more sensual. Yeah, Layton, I could see like on younger guys, but this, like a gentleman. Like early 20s, you know, yeah, something like that. Exactly. This is like, you know, he sexy, single, together. late 30s, yes. 40s, you know. Yes. He's got his life together. Yes. He knows where he's going. I love this. It's so good. We can't even say anything. We're just like, <laughs> I know, I just want to keep smelling it. <laughs> so if you're in the market and you're trying to decide which Layton is for you, the Layton Eau de Parfum is good for you. If you know you want something a little more mass appealing, you want something a little fresher, easier to pull off in basically any situation, Layton is a great choice. But if you want something that's a little more challenging, something that will definitely turn heads, Layton Exclusive is it's amazing. I almost get more of that apple pie vibe but mixed with oud and the exclusive than the original. Yes, I really, 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 really like the exclusive. Me too. 
I think we both feel the same way. I would definitely pick the exclusive any day. Mm. Mm, it's so sweet. I, I, I really like it. Ooh. Wow. <laughs> I need to go find a man and spray this on him. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Get this on some skin. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. So that's our our opinions on Layton and Layton Exclusive. Leave a comment below what you think, which one you prefer. I would love to hear from you guys and make sure to check out Kelsey's Instagram and soon YouTube channel. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.